My name is Alfie, I'm a third year production art student at Wimbledon College. My final project is a sci-fi space station created digitally to be immersive and explorative. As part of the final showcase, my work will be displayed as a series of stills taken from around the environment. When I first came to uni, I had the intention of being a 3D prop and model maker. But in my second year, I was given the opportunity to work with VR technology and the video game engine Unity. My work kind of lies sort of between interactive film and video games. I've always been a fan of video games. I play a lot of games in my spare time and I've always been very interested in how they're made. The course has always had a focus on producing things for screen. It was interesting to learn how to try to see through the lens of a camera, which eventually evolved to seeing through the VR camera, which is to say like a fully explorative kind of user. I've created a space station with a retro 90s, 80s kind of sci-fi aesthetic, based a lot off the film Alien, as well as 90s anime, and uh, more modern films like Interstellar and its use of like space and scale. The user starts in a broken down lift with emergency lights on. There is an interactive sequence where you can pull a breaker switch. From here they can move through a series of corridors, each with doors, some locked, some open, which create like a vague path for them to go down. This will take them to what I've been calling the comms room, which is the kind of the bridge of the space station. When they get to this room, a series of shutters open, which change the lighting dynamic of the room completely. From here, they can find a secret passage, which will take them into the depths of the spaceship, and will eventually bring the player to the final destination of the setting, which is the central computer. I've always been interested in the video game and immersive experience setting, but I felt like it was beyond my reach as someone who's not particularly technical. I'm not a coder, I'm much more of an artist. It suddenly became clear to me that there's a lot of software out there which is designed more for artists than for coders, and I was able to pick up a lot of the software quite quickly. We were given the chance to collaborate with an external company. It was a collaborative project with Dimension Studio. We're tasked with bringing a scene from uh, Shakespeare's The Tempest into a VR environment. We were also able to bring a prototype of this VR environment to a Tate Exchange event, uh, the Tate Modern, which was awesome. One of the most important things that I've learned for me is building a professional workflow. It's been quite an intense process. I have like a system whereby I can 3D model in a uh, software like Blender is what I've been using. And then taking that through to texturing software in the Adobe Substance package. And then finally, I take that into Unreal Engine 4, which is where I sort of arrange the whole environment and apply the textures I've made, add things like lights, um, atmospheric fogs, and the interactive element. So as the user or player progresses, there are certain things that they can trigger to make the environment feel alive and sort of have motion. From the beginning, I've designed it with VR in mind because it offers the user the best agency and control. 